What's up, my dudes? Valk here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the Ninja Warrior team. I believe this team's heavily underrated. I'm going to try to showcase that for you guys today. Um, if you guys don't know, the Ninja Warrior category got a whole bunch of new units. Yes, we're running Haku. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, but basically, this team is actually pretty damn solid now. At least I think so. So, Ninja Warrior, you guys can see it has Hashirama, Saratobi, Madara. I think these three are really, really good. And everybody else, Toby is good, but not for this team. Uh, ironically enough, he's not good for the Ninja Warrior team. He's really good for the Avenger team. Not so much uh, Ninja Warrior. Um, but outside of these, like, top four, there's kind of, like, nobody else that's really, like, you know, solid, right? Uh... Kakashi can be good, but he has Paralyze, which is going to overlap with Saratobi. Saratobi applies Flame 2, Paralyze, Slow, and Knockback. He's super cracked. Um, very, very, very good unit. Uh, so we're going to be running Haku instead. Uh, Haku does Freeze, which will be good for slowing the enemies down, as well as allowing us to uh, constantly stack up debuffs so Hashirama can do even more damage. But either way, this is going to be a much longer video than normal, so I want to try to uh, basically get it started as soon as possible. So let's go to normal, let's create, let's see how far they survive in comparison to the old ones. And yes, Nin our Naruto Part 2 has been confirmed, so this video is going to get another update. So we'll have Part 3 of the series of Ninja Warrior before during and after and we'll be able to see exactly how good they progress throughout the updates and see how crazy this team actually gets uh right now the team is basically just play around hashirama this hashirama is broken uh use a saratobi to his advantages because saratobi is also broken and then modders just there to apply blue flame and just be very big damage so yeah let's go ahead and put down hashirama we're going to put him down first. We're going to put it on auto skip times two speed ready on up. And then we're going to go from there. So next, we're going to probably work on our idol. Uh, we're just going to put it right here. It doesn't really matter too, too much where we stick her. We just want to put her there. And I do want to make sure to go ahead and actually put down a Saratobi uh, before anything. Uh, purely because, right, Hashirama has a very high SPA. Now, what that means is Hashirama isn't going to be able to solo kill everything. He's going to need a tiny, teensy little bit of help, right? So, because of that, we're going to go ahead and put down some Saratobis. Uh, Saratobi, Saratobi, and Saratobi. Okay, there we go. So, now we have all of our Saratobis on the ground, which is good, because now we can focus on our money, get our money up, and go from there to the point where we have Hashirama on full AoE. And then we're going to kind of just rack up money until Hashirama is basically max stacked out. Once Hashirama is max stacked, then we'll focus on that then. Or we'll uh, stop focusing. Or we'll start actually planting other stuff. But the main thing is getting Hashirama stacks up. Because he does stack up incredibly quickly. And it's important to make it so he can get all his... All his goodness, get this raise attack stacked up to the max. So let's go ahead and get this, get the ball rolling on this. Um, yeah, you guys can see right there is the last upgrade before things get a little wacky. Uh, yeah. All right, so next we're going to do this. And then we're going to AFK while we build up money and Hashirama builds up raise attack. So now we're just going to chill. Yep. Now we're just going to hang out. We're going to uh, pick this until basically he covers the entirety of the map. Um, you guys can see exactly what I'm going for here. So now we're just chill. We wait on Hashirama to get his raise attack up. And I'm going to drink coffee in the meantime. So you guys enjoy this because... Oh, that's some good coffee. Mm. Anyways, you guys enjoy this because this is basically all that's going to happen for a little while. I am going to put Hakus down eventually, but like I said, right now, it's just getting to raise attack up on Hashirama. He raises his attack incredibly quickly to the point where it just makes sense to just let him do this. And then we're going to put down the Madara. So I can go ahead and put them down. They're not going to be able to reach anything just yet. Um, whenever they can reach something, it won't matter. 
So now we're just waiting for Hashirama to get his max attack upgrade. And like I said, he does get it relatively quickly in comparison to other units, right? He does get his raise attack maxed out pretty damn quick. Uh, but the reason we want to get him maxed out first is because Madara actually heavily outranges uh, Hashirama whenever it comes to the raise attack state. So Madara is going to end up making it so Hashirama cannot raise his attack. I've already tested this. So you want to basically let um, Hashirama raise his attack first because otherwise you'll be stuck in the later later modes or later waves basically without a raise attack Hashirama, which is tragic. So you definitely want to let him have his moment to shine and get his raise attack up and running. He should be done soon. It doesn't take that long for him to raise his attack, but we'll see. We'll see exactly what all he's doing and what all he's up to. Um, I think he's done. Yeah, see, I told you guys, it doesn't take long for him at all. So now, rather than upgrading him, we're going to upgrade one of them. And then we're going to upgrade another one of them. And we're kind of just going to leave them there for a while. They can, they have pretty good range, as you can tell by what I was talking about earlier. Uh, so we're going to leave them there. We're going to leave them alone. And then we're going to go ahead and start putting everything else down. And we're going to max out our Saratobis. Max you out. Max you out. Uh, max you out. And then max you out. And then we're going to place Hakus at different increments of the map. Uh, Haku, no matter what I do, is probably not going to be doing the absolute most damage. So I think it's fine to just put Haku all over the map. Yeah, you guys can see 98k. How the times have changed, how the, how the winds have turned, how to whatever the hell. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine a, like, I can't imagine, like, a state of the game where this unit's meta, simply because of just how purely weak they are. But it is cool to see um, older units like this be able to have somewhat still relevance, purely because of just a Ninja Warrior team just being good right now, at least in my opinion. Uh, okay, I was about to say, are you not going to pick up the buff from Merlin? <laughs> I know you got it. I know the buff's there. Okay, so, they're there. And now we should be good except for Merlin. Now we're going to just put these Merlins over here. Because, once again, we don't really need it. And then we're going to put another Merlin probably right here. That way we have stun and freeze unlock. Alright, cool. So now we're just waiting on the moderates to stack up. You can see they stack up incredibly quickly. Or not incredibly quickly, but they do stack up all on their own. They don't need a whole lot of help. I think now we can start just picking attack percent bonus. Yeah, it's kind of going to be the goal from here on out. Just going attack percent and just seeing what happens from there. And we just let the moderates ramp up in the meantime. Uh, you guys can see the amount of debuffs. If they survive long enough that Saratobi provides. See the knockback, see the slow. Yeah, Saratobi's nuts, dude. Um, a lot of people sleep on that unit. He's really damn good. A lot of people don't know how good he is. He's very good. Extremely good, even. Uh, I couldn't recommend Saratobi more. So, now Madara is finished, it looks like. It looks like the Madaras are done cooking. So, now we're going to do this. And then we're going to get Blue Flame. Blue Flame makes Flame do more damage. So, Madaras are going to have very good damage output. And now, we're kind of just chilling. Now we kind of chill for the next 30 waves or so. Probably be like 30, 30 or 40. I imagine like 90, what, 92, 93, I want to say, is where we'll probably die, which is way better than what we... I think it's almost 10 waves more with the scaling that happens. That's kind of an insane amount. Um, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with this team, all in all. I think this team is heavily underrated. I think a lot of people are kind of sleeping on it because the so many uh, units that dropped the Naruto update were just kind of just all right they were just mid at best so a lot of people are sleeping on the team as a whole when i do think the team is actually very solid i think it's actually a pretty damn good team um they're relative not super cheap especially if you're on madara plus hashirama but if i was to swap out madara with like dennis or something this team would become very very cheap and very easy to afford in basically any progressive mode so it could be something that you might want to check out in the running and a progressive mode if you do feel like if you do have uh hashiram and saratobi this is the main combo here um if you do have at least these two this could be a team you want to check out in any progressive mode but all in all i do think the team is going to get more love with the part two update 
I think it'll be even better then, but I think right now it's still a very solid team. Uh, a meta of Naruto sounds kind of interesting. So I'm curious how good they make the part two units. I wonder if they cook really hard or what, simply because if it's a Naruto meta, that's going to be very interesting in how it plays out. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Naruto meta could, could be funny, uh, simply because they're one of the only teams with a 130 lead without any downsides which is why their attack can get to like such high values uh they can get to such crazy attack because they're a 130 lead with no downsides you can see 11.3 mil uh 3.18 mil yeah 130 lead with zero downsides it's really really strong and that's kind of how we're entering the era of power creep which i'm gonna be real a lot of people always hear power creep and they get scared right now i love power creep I think power creep makes games a lot more interesting and i think it's something that a lot more developers should do i think power creep is healthy for a game because it shows a progression of the game state but it's all about how you go about it right where if you have like asdd levels of power creep where you drop your mirror a unit that solos the entire game i think that's a little wacky however um, with AWTD, they've done a very good job managing their power creep so far to the point where even older units still feel somewhat relevant. Like Haku. Haku, for example, is actually doing pretty good. Um, not, well, that's actually decent damage, I'm not gonna lie. 346k? How much are you guys doing? Uh, wait, is Idol hitting the whole thing? Oh, Idol's covering the entire stage. Oh, well then. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, I actually might just do... I might just do this. Let me do this. I'm here. Blah, 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 blah. Just to give them that range increase. And then raise attack off that. Yeah, look at the range now on them. Yeah, that range is just nutty now. Only issue with Haku is how small this circle is. Uh, but it's more so you just brought Haku to kind of slow him down. Because my other options were to bring poison and sack poison or bring I tried young Toby with flame two and while young Toby was contributing a lot and stacking the flame two and stacking the boss, the damage just isn't enough for an infinite mode to really like justify the use of uh, young Obido. So it's just like like youth Toby is like a good unit, but more so for progressive modes, not really for an infinite mode type situation, right? So I thought it'd be better just to bring Haku just to try to slow them down a little bit. Um, although Haku has a relatively short SPA at 5 seconds, the small circle definitely hurts. But I think it'll be fine. I think uh, it's going to stack up the debuffs for Hashirama and slow them a good little bit. You guys can see the units in first getting frozen a good little bit, which is exactly what I wanted out of this. So, now the real question comes in the fact of how long do we survive? We're now at 84. My guess was 93, because uh, that's where I was getting at with testing uh, young Toby. But yeah, my guess is around 93 is where we survive. How much damage are these chalking out? 7 point whatever, 7.4, 5.1 bill, and they're all 5 bill each. So 15 bill for Madara, uh, 8 bill for Hashirama. Yeah, this is why I told people Madara is still a really good unit. Uh, flame, a uh, blue flame is no joke whenever you have this attack stat backing it, right? Like, this is, this is massive damage whenever you have that type of attack stat behind it. So, that's why I kept telling people that. So, we're almost to 90. You guys can see, like, they're still pushing. Yeah, they're still clearing it. Still killing stuff. It's only a matter of time now. So, this is my guess. My guess was 93. So, like I said, that's about where I got with the Obido team. I don't imagine swapping teams is going to change things too, too much. It could. Uh, but I doubt it. It might. Uh-oh. Nah, we're going to get 93, right? Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah, 93, 94 is about to be the cutoff. Um, that's that's about where it was with uh, young Toby. Um, yeah. You guys can see. And boop, finally. 6.6 6 million score. I believe on the other one, I had like a... 5.3 million score um with the old naruto team so 1.3 million is no joke whenever it comes to scaling in this game that's a lot this team is uh, very good in my opinion i think it's a very solid team i think if you make some changes here and there add in another money unit take out um 
take out Madara, because Madara at one, he's a ramper. He takes a while to ramp up, and having multiple ramp units could be a challenge. They're also very expensive, so I highly recommend if you're wanting to run this in a progressive mode, keep in Haku, take out uh, Madara, and just run the main combo is going to be Hashirama and Saratobi. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.